Hello YouTube, this is Bill. It is the middle of August um, and I will show you my pickups from the first half of August. Uh, it's actually been, um, hasn't been anything crazy. Um, so uh, just let me get into this. I'll start off with basketball, knock that out. Been collecting basketball Hall of Famers. Um, got a lot of ways to go, unlike baseball. Um, and you can still pick up stuff up for cheap. Um, trying to stick with on cards as well. So first one is Gino Auriemma on card. Okay. This one's actually pretty rare. Um, he doesn't have, I don't even know if this might be his only on card. If not, there's very few. Uh, Vern Mickelson on card. And I just got this one today. Another Hall of Famer uh, on card, Yao Ming. So three, those are the three basketball guys. I think I'm at 107, 108, plus um, a couple other guys that were part of a team because a team got uh, inducted. So I think 110 total, some 111, I don't know. Um, so I'm making progress there. Uh, I should be able to get to 150 pretty easily, and that's when it's going to start, you know, going into deceased guys and and uh, you know the rarer. Uh, things where I can't get on cards. It's going to be index cards and letters and odds and ends. So uh, now over to baseball. I guess I'll start off with um, the guys, uh, the Ford Frick. Is it Ford Frick and Spink Award winners? Um, they kind of have induction ceremonies in the Hall of Fame, so I'm trying to collect all those guys. Like your Vince Scully and such. Um, so I have two more here. Um, for Frick winner, John Miller on card autograph. And this guy was actually, I don't know if he doesn't have, probably doesn't have many cards. Um, but this one I actually had to pay a little bit more than I thought. Um, Joe Garagiola, I guess you would pronounce it. This is numbered to just 125. So for this card, 125 is actually pretty short, um, pretty low print count. But uh, maybe he just didn't sign a lot. But it was a pretty, you know, decent amount, like 20, 30 bucks for this card. Um, we're surprised. All right. Uh, now I will go over to on cards. Um, actually, an upgrade. I'll stick with this one. An upgrade. Um, I had an Earl Weaver um, on card, but it was like a Topps tribute with the chromy foil finish. And um, I kind of want something with a cleaner background, cleaner looking kind of card. So I picked up uh, an on card uh, Cooperstown Panini Earl Weaver. That'll be an upgrade. I'll probably sell the other one. All right, on card. Oh, and, and greats of the game. I thought about collecting greats of the greats of the game. I haven't committed to it per se, but I couldn't pass up. It was like a dollar, two dollars, or something like that. Dave Parker, on card. Um, the greats of the game are actually pretty cool. I didn't realize it, but the um, the background um, is actually sparkly. Uh, I looked at it and I thought I was seeing things. All uh, right. And uh, on card. Um, trying to get all the on cards. Um, I have three more now to add. Um, okay, first one is, I believe, the only on card that they made for Don Drysdale. Um, and then it has the LOA in the back. But the. Uh, Don Drysdale, Don Drysdale on card. Another one, I think it was the only on card made. Um, all time greats, Hal Newhauser. And again, Cert in the back, number three of 2000. Uh, Hal Newhauser. And 
this one, Pinnacle. Uh, some of you might already know, Pinnacle has a little certificate in here. Um, this is Joe DiMaggio, on-car autograph. And there were five different pictures, and I forget, the 1800 produced. Um, so, a nice on-car Joe DiMaggio. It's an awkward size. Um, here's the cert. But, uh, it's a weird size card. Let me put this here. Alright. Um, two more cards, three more cards here. Again, my, uh, 2005 Ultimate Signature, the dual autographs. I'm trying to get all of them. Um, 88 cards in total. Uh, I just picked up two more. Puts me at 43. So if I can get one more, I'll have half the set. Um, and uh, I'll do a video of them all together. But uh, one away for that. So I added two more. This is the MVP. Number two, just 100 of Killebrew and Carew. And the no hitters, number to 125, Bob Gibson and Jim Palmer. All right, and the last card is uh, somebody that I probably should have had a long time ago. Uh, I think a lot of people just never realized uh, you know, he's been just getting better and better as he's been getting older. And uh, recently joined a 3000 hit club. So that's a dead giveaway. Uh, I never had his autograph, so I had to pick him up. And I needed it on card. So, Adrian Beltre. Um, just got 3000 hits. And uh, surprisingly, you know, with, uh, he should be a lock for Cooperstown, 450 home runs plus. Um, RBIs are way up there and runs and everything else. Um, surprisingly, that uh, with the with the 3,000 hit thing, um, Beltre's been hot in terms of cards. So uh, it's it's been tricky to try to win a Beltre the last two months. But uh, was it COMC or check out my cards? Listed an Adrian this Adrian Beltre autograph for $18. I mean, eighteen. It's an on-card, and it was eighteen bucks. I couldn't pass it up. I, there's really nothing wrong with it. I don't understand. And it's it's certified. It's just I don't understand how eighteen. You know, where the cheapest Beltre autographs that were on-card were going forty, fifty bucks at the time. Um, as soon as it got listed, within ten minutes of the thing listing and alerting my phone, I I, I bought it. So their loss, my win. Um, so there's Beltre. So there's my collection. That's all I got this time. It's pretty, uh, uh, I've had many more pickups in other months, but uh, again, just gonna continue to pick up basketball players. I'm gonna continue to pick up the on cards, um, my dual autograph set, maybe greats of the game, Hall of Famers, um, five-star rainbow Hall of Famers, um, yeah, so that's, that's, uh, that's where I'm at. Um, thanks for watching and, uh, check back with me at the end of the month. I'll do another, uh, uh part two, I guess, if I have any significant pickups. All right, peace.